to Betty's Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to prepare for you my old fashioned peach cobbler in a 9 by 13 pan with a double crust. So let me get started. I have four cups of flour I'm adding to this blender. I'm adding, I'm adding one teaspoon of sea salt. I'm going to mix this for a few minutes. And before I add the other ingredients, this is for the double crust uh, recipe for the peach cobbler. Add the one can of carnation milk to the blender. I'll turn it on. It's one 12 ounce can. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my two sticks of butter uh, to the bowl here. Yep, excuse the noise. I have someone working uh, in my in the master bedroom. So sorry about that. Okay, I kind of cube the butter, two sticks of butter. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in the dough. The dough is nice and soft. And I'm gonna take it out of here and place it on the um, counter. Now uh, this is the dough for the double crust. I'm going to use 40% for the bottom crust and 60% for the top crust. So, just going to lay it that part over there. And then I'm going to roll out this part. Add a little flour to your dough before you start rolling it out. That way it won't stick. And also add some to your rolling pin. The dough is nice and soft and pliable. Move it around. And you can make this still as thin as you like. Okay, I think this is probably long enough. I'm gonna Grab the pan and check it. Okay, it's not quite long enough for this pan, so I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. I got plenty of dough, so I just gotta cut some from this side. Okay, I fold the dough in half, and now I'm gonna place it in my pan. It's right here. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna just um, press it down a little bit. I'm gonna pre-bake this crust. I like for my crust to be very crispy at the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. Add a little more to the sides. Okay, all right, I'm gonna place it in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. I have wrapped up the top dough. I'm gonna let it, leave it there until I'm ready to do the peach cobbler. Okay, I 
just added two 13 ounce cans of peaches. I'm going to add two cups of sugar. I should have had a bigger can. Change the pain in because it was it was too small. So let me just add a stick of butter. There's the butter going in. Okay, I added one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and now I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of nutty hair. Nutty hair. Okay, that one. I'm not trying to cook this, I'm just trying to make the spices dissolve in the, in the sauce. Excuse the noise, I have someone working in our master bedroom. Um, so, you notice that the spices are dissolving in the pan, that's all I'm doing. I'm not trying to cook this uh, peaches or anything, I'm just trying to make sure that the spices are incorporated with the peaches. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Now this peach cobbler is a little bit different than the first one, the original one I added. Okay, just so you know. This is the This was in there for 20 minutes. And I'm using some pineapples. I'm just cutting them up. This is the pineapple I'm using. This is a 20 ounce. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of the juice in the can, but I will use some. Okay, what I'm doing, just dicing up the pineapples right now. So, and I'm not trying to make this sauce thick or anything. I'm just trying to incorporate all the flavors in the peach cobbler. Okay. Well, I did use all of uh, the pineapples, but I'll let you see. I don't want to overfill my pan, so I'll let you know if I use the, the remainder of the juice in here. I'll let you know if I'm going to use the remainder of this juice. I just like to um, make mine for a little while, like 20 minutes. So it's kind of fine now. And then I'll use a teaspoon of flour. And I'm going to incorporate that. I'm going to let it cook that down um, for a few minutes. I'll allow it to cook a little bit longer. Cook out the okay, I'm going to go ahead and spoon this into the pie crust here. I probably should just try to get as much as I can in here. And see how much will fit in this pan. Okay, I will not be using the pineapple juice. Um, I really didn't want to fill this to the brim because I got to put some crust on the top. So I still have a, I have a little um, liquid from the peaches I cooked. Okay, I'm going to roll out the other dough. Thinly. Flip it around. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, keep rolling. I'm gonna keep rolling this out so that I can ensure that it will cover the entire. Okay, I'm gonna use my pizza cutter uh, to cut off some of the excess edges here. I will be able to reuse that dough.
I'm going to do the lattice topping on this one here. Okay, I'm putting the lattice on top. I'm not doing it the regular way, but um, it'll be beautiful. It's going to taste delicious, so it's going to be great. Now with the remainder of the dough, I'm going to mix a little bit more strips because I need some more on the top. See, I have a little more space there, so I'm going to go ahead and roll out some more dough. Brush a little liquid from the peaches on top of the dough before I place it in. This is what I had left, so I'm just gonna brush it on the top. My mother used to make peach cobblers when we were growing up and they were delicious. So it's in my blood. Okay. Brushing it all the way around. Okay, gotta do it. Okay, I just have a little bit of dough left, so I'll probably maybe make some bread out of it. Okay, I place the peach cobbler in a 350 degrees oven for 45 to 50 minutes. Let's, let's take a look at it, 45. Alexa, mm -hmm. set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, 30 minutes. I just took this out of the oven. It was in my little small oven for 55 minutes. So if you cook it in a large oven, I think you probably can get away with cooking it about 45 to 50 minutes because I have cooked it in a large oven uh, around that time. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. Have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching Betty's Cooking Channel.